the automotive engineering technology program at Ferris is heavily involved with automotive. Um, it starts out with the, the technical uh, automotive service courses and then it branches out into more advanced automotive. Our program is unique because we offer um, a mixture of technical as well as engineering which gives that engineering technology flair to the program. It's really nice how you get to see other people have different backgrounds on automotives. I mean some of them really are experts in the automotive field and having some of these as my lab partners was really amazing. Not just because we got through the labs easier but they actually taught me in addition to the professors teaching me. Ferris is unique in that we are like engineering used to be long ago, hands-on. The lab portion of it, it's basically hands-on and you get to deal with real issues that happen in the car and especially for the service floor, um, you get to see real cars of customers and work on real problems that happen. We're taught more of the diagno diagnostics of the car. Customer will come in and say, I hear a clunky noise when I brake, or I hear a hum when I'm accelerating, and you know. So we have to, one, go on a drive, test drive with the instructor to verify the problem. And then we get into scanning it, making sure there's not a sensor being bad, and, and more of the more of the shop life, other than just one little thing we concentrate on in our old classes. This is like everything all thrown in. So it's really a, a nice uh, spot for a student to come out that's a hands-on student because they, they like um, to work with their hands and not only that, but um, those are things that typically uh, a student that's gone through all the rigor of going through a research engineering institution is not necessarily wanting to come out and, and not all of them want to get their hands dirty. Our students, they'll go in and, and they'll tear apart an engine and they'll analyze the componentry and uh, they can go ahead and put that back together with something modified and, and run another test. I also get to network out because of how many people you're meeting and all the professors and all the companies that they know as well. We have uh, quite a few major companies, both original equipment manufacturers such as Ford, General Motors, Chrysler. Um, we have a number of contract companies that come in and interview students. We've had General Motors here. Fiat Chrysler just came. Um, General Motors just came last week. Uh, Ford has been here in the past and Toyota has been here in the past. We did have, I think it was Ferrari and Maserati come last, last semester um, and try to have people interview for them. Actually our program has to be ABET certified so they come here a lot to check in on our, pro, on our uh, labs and stuff. The AET program at Ferris does require an internship. It's 10 weeks long, um, minimum of 400 hours. Uh, typically students will complete that during the summer, um, but we do have some students that opt to take a semester and do their internship. I wasn't sure my freshman year and being third year I'm really excited and meeting with these companies I feel good about myself, I feel good about my education and good about the people backing me up. My goal is to really achieve a full-time job as a chassis engine tester engine dyno tester. Automotive engineering technology guys can go to work in a dealership. They can work on the service floor in the dealership. They can work in the technical side of the house anywhere. I mean, you can work for Toyota, you can work for General Motors, you can work for Fiat Chrysler. Um, the sky's the limit as long as you know you have the drive to put yourself out there.